Today's lesson is 7.4, using compatible numbers to estimate. The objective for today is that you will use compatible numbers to estimate products of two digit numbers. Vocabulary that I need you to include in your notes is right here, compatible numbers. Compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to compute mentally. Which pair of numbers is easier to multiply, 27 times four or 25 times four, and why? 25 and 4 are compatible numbers. Using compatible numbers is another way to estimate products. The reason we consider 25 as a compatible number is because we can think about 25 thinking about money. So we think about a quarter and how much a quarter is worth. One quarter is equal to 25 cents. And if I have four quarters, then I would have one dollar. When I think about money, it helps me to understand how to multiply numbers. So four times 25 has to be 100. And the way that works is when we do money, we have decimals included. So I'm gonna include that right here when I show you my example. Four times 25 cents. Well, when I multiply, I'm just gonna pretend that little guy's not there. And I'll do four times 25. Well, again, we said four times 25, if I had four quarters, was $1. Well. I'm pretending my decimals are not there, so I'm gonna get rid of that decimal, which shows me that four times 25 is equal to 100. So just kind of get rid of those decimal places. So you don't even have to know how to multiply using decimals yet. We just wanna think about our money and how much money we would have when we think about quarters. So in your, new, in your notes, I want you to make sure you include that we think about 25, write down think, about money. In your notes, we're gonna work through a couple different problems. We're gonna do numbers one, two, and three right now. Looking at number one, it says 24 times 18. Well, we just talked about how 24 is a compatible number, or 25 is a compatible number. 24 is really close to 25. When I'm trying to decide whether I should round a number to the nearest 10 or just use 25, I want you to think about numbers like 23 and 24, 26 and 27. All of these numbers, I would like for you to use 25 as a compatible number. Go ahead and include this part in your notes right now. Because I want to use any of these numbers, if I have these in a problem, I want to use 25 as my compatible number, I end up having that 24 is close to 25, like it says on number 1. Well, 18 is not close to 25, so I'm not going to use a compatible number there. I'm going to round to the nearest 10, so I come up with numbers that are easy to work with. Okay, well now I'm looking at 25 times 20. Make sure you have this written down as an example problem in your notes. 25 times 20. Well, I do my non-zero digits again, 25 times two. Again, think about money. If you have two quarters, how much money do you have? I would have 50 cents, and then I still need to bring that zero back on to the end, so I would end up with 500. Taking a look at my next problem, number two, again, I want you to include number two and number three in your notes. 24 is really close to 25, so underneath, on these problems, I want you to include what the original problem is, so have 24 times 37 written down, and then I also want you to include the compatible numbers or the estimated problems that we're doing. So 25 times, well, 37, really close to 40. So again, I'm looking at my non-zero digits. I do 25 times 4, and I end up with 100. Because again, I thought about quarters. If I have four quarters, I have a dollar. Get rid of that decimal, and I have 100. So 100, but I have to bring that zero back on at the end. Okay, for this next one, again, I want you to write down number 3 and write down 52 times 27. Because 27 is only 2 away from 25, I'm going to continue to use 25 as my compatible number. 52 is really close to 50. So right now, I am not going to finish this problem. For this one, I want you to finish it and have your answer ready to share.